What is going on guys? Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Just pulled up to the park today. Um, we have the Multi-Rotor Mania Reaper 195 millimeter frame uh, that I just got off RC Groups. Really happy with this build altogether. Um, and if you guys want the meat and potatoes on the setup here, uh, you can check out the last video that I did with this where we went ahead and unboxed it. We set it up, configured it, of course, in beta flight and did a hover test on it. But today we're jumping in with both feet for an FPV flight here. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything powered up um, and get everything in initialized and we'll take it up for a flight. All right, so it's time to go ahead and get this Reaper up in the air. Super excited. It should be powerful, fast, and fun. Um, but let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and address a few things on the OSD before we get too far into it. Um, and just so you're looking at the stats and you're not confused. First things first, my current sensor is way off. You can see we have not pulled 200 million hours um, at this time. We're only 10 seconds into the flight here. Um, that's also reflected on my actual amp meter on the other side. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and measure uh, my flight time uh, tonight just by... Uh, first off, my timer in the upper left-hand corner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and land at like three minutes or so. That's around where I'm getting with my other quads, as well as the voltage sensor, of course. And there's something wrong with that as well, because Utah, we just went in down in like 12 volts when we did a full throttle punch out. So, yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to go ahead and calibrate those, but uh, we'll see what's up with that. We also have an RSSI, which is really nice. Um, as you might know, at my field, that water tower over there in the corner does have a cell tower on top of it, which is well known uh, for wrecking my signals. If you have watched any of my playing videos you might um, have witnessed one of those brownouts but uh, really really happy with how this thing is flying and having RSSI and other telemetry on board is just it's going to give me that peace of mind to know when I can fly and when I should probably turn back so yeah getting comfortable with this thing in terms of flight characteristics this thing is very smooth even on the stock uh, PIDs I mentioned I did lose the PID loot from the um, original owner which had a really good uh, tuned build on here um, but even just straight from the beta flight defaults uh, this thing has barely any prop wash at all um, corners really really well um, and I have not had any issues with holding my heading or any other performance uh, things like that um, you can see my flips and rolls are very very smooth as well uh, one thing I will have to address is my rates uh, I did say in my original video I have the same exact 800 degrees per second uh, rates with a 30% expo as I do on all my other quads however I don't know if it's the geometry or the motors or the props or whatever it could possibly be on this uh, but I'm just not feeling that same touchiness that I really like this thing feels a little bit more sluggish and that just might be because we're spinning props out instead of props in I'm not totally sure I think there's just a little bit more bite in props out or I'm, I'm no scientist here so uh, you guys can probably correct me all day in the comments but other than that, I mean, this thing is flying super, super well, very smooth. Just need to go ahead and work on those rates a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're monitoring our voltages here, and you can see we're still um, at 14.5 volts or so. Obviously, this is a 45C pack. Um, I was talking about that in the last video, so you can't really expect the sag to be non-existent. It's really going to be there, um, and that's unfortunate, but thankfully, when we go up to the Ovonic uh, 1550 packs, uh, hopefully, we'll have better performance but you can see right there we kind of had a little bit of a rough landing and that's about it all I have um, for this video today it's it's nothing was broken uh, everything is all good to go and that's about it on this flight so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for some more videos coming very very soon um, with this quad is a lot of fun to fly um, recommend any flying spots or you know videos down in the comments below I'd be happy to take those requests thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video